Alright, so in this video we'll talk about the HSV color space in OpenCV using Python. So first we'll start off by saying what is HSV color space? Why do we need HSV color space? How does the HSV color space work? And then go into a cool example of HSV color segmentation of our cat. So what is HSV color space? So H stands for hue, we have S is saturation, and then V is value. So Typically, the hue is between 0 and 180. This is an OpenCV, um, but in practice, for other applications, you'll see it in 0 to 360, and that will show you the type of color. So here is the H value, and it goes inside a circle. That's why it's 360. I don't know why OpenCV uses uh, 180. But with hue, pretty much is you're going around the circle to see which color you want. And with saturation, that is this here is the radius of this cone. So uh, it will show you the concentration of the color. So as you move inwards, it gets lighter. And as you move outwards, the color is more concentrated. So you could kind of think of saturation as diluting your color with water. And then value is the up and down. So as you get lower, you can see it's a dark region. And then as you go up, it's a brighter region. So you could think of value as the intensity of your color, okay? So why do we need HSV color space? So a uh, common application is with segmentation using color. So by the end of this video, you'll see how we can actually do segmentation of this picture. And we're trying to get the fleshy part of the cat, which is kind of the pinkish color, which will give us the ears and kind of the nose area. And in general, HSV just gives you a more intuitive way of understanding and describing the colors as opposed to RGB. Because with RGB, you kind of have three values for each number, and they don't really give you a good idea of what the numbers mean. Okay, So the HSV is a more natural way of doing that. So how does HSV color space work? Uh, typically, you'll go with the three numbers, and then you normalize it, divide by 255. And then you'll have what's called C max and C min, which is the max and min of these numbers. And then you find the difference between the C max and C min. Then you'll go through some steps to do the hue calculation. So uh, depending on what you have, if C max and C min are equal, you set H to 0. If C max is equal to R, then you compute H with this formula. If it's equal to G, you compute it with this. And then if C max is equal to B, you compute it with this. Okay. So basically, you have a piecewise function, and then you compute it depending on what it is. And for saturation, if C max is 0, you set S to 0. And if C max does not equal 0, then you compute with this equation here. And then the value is just um, based off of your C max. And thanks for Geeks for Greeks for this algorithm. And now we will jump right into our coding example. OK, so here we have a simple demo program. We're going to call, well, before that, let's import some stuff that we'll need. So we have CV2 as CV. And then we have import OS. And we have import numpy as mp and import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. And then the function that we'll be using, I'm going to call hsv color segmentation as the name of our example. And we have if name equals main, call our hsv color segmentation function. And inside, we'll do some of our usual stuff, which is roots and then os.get uh, cwd to get our root file and then our path of our image, os.path.join. And then root, pass in our file, so demo images. And we have qpick1.jpg. And then we read in our image uh, on read and then pass in our image path. Then we have image, um, this is going to be RGB. Going to do some conversion, CVT, CV dot, uh, CVT color, and then pass in our image and use our code, CV dot um, color, uh, BGR to, Let's see, BGR to RGB, 
And again, I'm going to use some matplotlib to figure out some pixel location. So here I have hsv equals cv dot cvt uh, color. And then this is the main command to convert it to the hsv color space. So bgr has three channels. hsv also have three channels, but the channels now are hsv. So we have color bgr to uh, hsv here. So if we will, what we want to see is the values now. So if I put a debug here, and if I run my code, let's take a look. Um, let's see, debug Python file. So if I run this, we should see some values that we're dealing with. So if I look here, um, notice that HSV, right, the, the colors, the numbers I'm dealing with are these right here. So if I view value in data viewer, you'll see some of the values. And you can see here that this is also a 985 by 1170 by 3. It's going to be the same shape as our image. Uh, but the main thing is that the three channels, so the three layers or three dimensions of the matrix is going to be HSV instead. And you can see some of the values for this if you click into it. Um, but right now, because I'm using the data viewer, it's loading. And then usually a big file will take some time to load. But then after you get it, it should be pretty good. So I'm going to look at the first axis and hit apply. And you can see these will be all the H values, essentially. Okay, So that's, that's what the HSV gives us. I'm going to exit out of my debug. And now maybe I want to do some plotting. So with the HSV color segmentation, what you need is to do some uh, upper and lower bound for our values. So we have mp.array. But let me first show you the actual value. So if I do plt.figure, it's a lot easier to see it in the figure. So we will do that. So I'm going to plot the RGB value here to get an idea of some of the, the pixel values, and then plt.show. So if I run this, so here the pixel values are 77, 56, and 53. So I could actually find out the corresponding HSV values. Um, and from there, I could figure out you know, what range I'm dealing with. So there's actually a pretty neat app that I use. So um, I use that app to figure out some of the colors. So let me show you that. OK, so this app here lets you see the actual value. So if I, if I drag this H, you can see which values I'm in. And then if I drag this, you can see the saturation. So for my example, if I'm looking at, um, you have some advanced controls here. So I could do um, 0 to 255, for example, radiance, radiance percent, right? So you have different options. Um, but here, I think I'm going to go with degrees and then 0 to 255, OK? So these will be my range of values. And then for my HSV, for the saturation, um, notice that I could choose these values here. My H, you can see, if I'm getting the years, then what I may want is uh, like around this area, 0 to 20. But remember, with OpenCV, I need to divide by 2, right? So I could choose somewhere around 20 here. And then with my saturation, um, you can see how bright you want it, right? So I don't want it too bright. I don't want it too saturated. So maybe I'm going to go with something like 120. This is my saturation. And then with the value that I'm using, um, it depends how dark I want it, right? So we know that the years are on the darker end of the spectrum. So we could choose somewhere around like 100. So this will be a good way to visualize 
what the range of pixel values we're trying to capture. Okay, so that's what we'll be using. So if I come back to here, um, that's we we looked at a pixel. We kind of know what color that was, and then now we can actually try to have some upper and lower bound. So I'm gonna have lower bound equals mp dot array, and these will cons correspond to the HSV values. Um, here I have a lower bound of fifty for hue because um, or HSV I should say. So maybe I want to have like a range here. So v if I go to 50, it's around here, right? If I get too low, this will be very dark. So I actually want to limit the value from 50 to 100 to get this region here, okay? This upper region. I don't want the very dark ones because I might end up getting a lot of the fur. So I'm gonna try to get the top region. So I'll do this for my lower bound. And then for my upper bound, what I want to do is have, um, 0 to 10. We had 20 earlier. We divide by 2 because OpenCV is from uh, up to 180 degrees. And then here I have 0 to 120 will be my upper bound. And then we create a mask equals CV dot uh, in range and pass in the HSV channel. And then we have lower bound and then pass in upper bound. So this will take the ranges my HSV matrix, and then give me a mask value, okay? So once I have the mask, uh, what I could do is I could use the mask to see the areas with the years, okay? So if I do, uh, I'm gonna actually do cv.umshow for the mask, and then pass in mask, and then cv.weight key, pass in zero. And if I run this, we should see the mask pop up. Let yeah, me first close the previous figure, and then now I run it. And you can see this is kind of the mask area. So I have 0 to 50, this should be 100. So notice if I didn't care about the, the V, it didn't turn out as good, right? But if I try running this again and close this, you can see I got the years pretty nicely. So you can play around with these values to see what features you want to extract, but uh, with HSV, it gives you a really nice way to get different parts of the image uh, with consideration of lighting and things like that, okay? So if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.